Good morning. Welcome to Marty's Tying Bench. This morning I'm tying a small white rabbit streamer. I call it a bunny ugly. This particular version has got a barred white bunny strip down the back. Good little streamer. Medium size. You can still throw it with a five or six weight. I tie this one on a size six hook. I vary the sizes of the hook. Actually, I just need a little bit of the hook shank to tie this fly, so sometimes I opt for a shorter shank and bigger gap. They all seem to work about the same. I've prepared this with a quarter inch black cone and about 12 turns of 030 lead. You can use 035. First step is a strip of this barred white rabbit strip. And what I'm going to do is part it so at the tie-in point I've got kind of an index on my vise so each one's the same as the next. But about the shank length, the leather is about the shank, shank length, the tail will be a little bit longer. I'm going to move this thread back till it's over the point of the hook. I'm using 100 denier GSP thread because I'm going to pull down pretty hard on a couple of these steps. So two turns pulled snug is good. Fold the leather out of the way and makes a few wraps right up against the leather. Now it'll hold it in place so it doesn't slide around. Now I'm going to fold it out of the way and get a couple of grizzly flutter legs black and white and I got a couple of strands of crystal flash prepared with it tie a little of those on either side now I'm not wrapping very tightly here I don't want to cut that spandex but then when I get up front against the lead then it's that's where I get a little tighter. Now for the forward part, I use crosscut rabbit. This stuff will lay back and make a, a sleeker streamer. And I usually cut the front end of the leather down to a point just to keep from building up any lumps at the tie-in point. Now I need these wraps to be pretty darn tight. when I wrap the rabbit I tend to pull it. I like it pretty snug. Each wrap's going to overlap the previous lap a little bit. And when I get to the cone I want this rabbit to, to fill in and not have uh, any real gaps so I'm going to keep wrapping until that leather fills it up pretty good. And bring my GSP through, making sure it stays right behind the cone. And I'm going to pull, and that's going to seat it underneath the cone. Now, I tend to use nail clippers to get at this leather, trim it pretty close. Got an old wisdom tooth toothbrush. I'm gonna part that hair so that it's fairly even and then pull the barred rabbit strip over. I'm gonna part this to tie it in, but my part you'll see is a little bit forward of the actual junction between the cone and the bunny. And that's because I'm gonna push it back and have a little bit of slack. so that when I pull on a GSP it'll actually suck that under the cone pretty good. A couple of turns of whip finish. Actually I'm going to wait till later. I'm going to nip that leather close. Now I've got just a tiny little stub but if I get a wrap of GSP over it and pull, I can kind of tuck most of that under the cone. Keeps this one pretty clean. Now I'm ready for a whip finish. 
And since I'm not going to put any glue around all of this rabbit, I'm going to duplicate that. Pull that good and snug. And now I'm going to trim. While these legs are hanging down, make sure one's on each side. That's the easiest way to get them even. And I'm going to get the crystal flash about the same length. It won't matter much if they're irregular. So there we go. Bunny ugly.